All right, we're gonna be talking about light energy next. So I want you to take this paper here and I want you to fold it in half. And then I would like you to, you can write this on and glue so it comes on out. And we are, I'm just going to get my glue and glue it in. And then we're gonna talk about light energy. Now light energy is energy that can be seen by, whoops, our eyes. So I'm gonna put up here light energy can be seen with our eyes. And on our notes before, it travels through space. Okay, so we have reflection and refraction is what we're gonna be talking about today. Okay, reflection and refraction. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up and we're gonna talk about re, let's see here, reflection, see? Okay, so reflection. Here we go. Light bouncing off objects at equal angles is called reflection. Oops, so sorry about that. The law of reflection states that the angle of the reflection is equal to the angle of incidence. So in other words, the angle of incidence, which is right here, okay, angle A, if it's going to bounce off and be the same angle as the reflection, which is B, okay? So the ray that hits the surface is the incident ray. It's the incidence and then it's gonna bounce off and be the same, okay? The ray that bounces off the surface is the reflected ray. Okay, I'm actually going, and mirrors, they reflect, but they reflect backwards. So that's something that is also fun to do is to write messages and the light reflects backwards. So taking in energy, we're going to talk about a little bit about transfer. So we can transfer light to heat. Like I've said, light and heat go hand in hand. Okay. Now visible light can be absorbed. When we do visible light, I always think of Roy G. Biv for my ultraviolet light. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. This is my ultraviolet light. Okay. So this should say ab. Absorb, that didn't quite come out when we did our notes. Absorb, color is produced by the absorption of selected wavelengths. So this is how color works. Object is blue. The object will appear blue if the object absorbs all the color wavelengths except for blue. So the color that is reflected is the color that you see. The colors that we have Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, mixed together to make other colors. White is the absence of color and black is all colors absorbed. So white reflects all the colors and black absorbs all the colors. So if black absorbs all the colors, it also absorbs all the heat as well. So that is how light happens. Now the next one is, have you ever seen 
a pencil, if you put a pencil or a pen in a cup and then you look inside the side of the glass and it looks like it's bent, that's called refraction. Sometimes when you go from one medium or state of matter or medium or um, like gas or a liquid or solid, if you're going from one to the other, then sometimes it bends and that's called refracting. So if when we go from one transparent medium to another, now a medium is a, is a material. Transparent means see-through. Okay, see-through. So you go through one transparent medium or material to another, okay, like air to water or air to glass. The light will bend depending on how the atoms of the two materials absorb the energy and the angle of the light, okay? This causes the light to change speed. The direction of the bend has to do whether the light speeds up or slows down. So, what does that mean? We can use lenses, every day to bend light, like glasses. So if I am, if I have a flashlight and I'm shining it in this area with just gas, there's no liquids, we're putting it through oxygen in our atmosphere, so we're, we're shining the light. The light will go faster or slower than a different kind of a material, transparent material. So it may slow down or speed up if it hits water, and that's when it changes its angle because it's moving differently in that material. Okay. Okay, and I'm not going to be talking about the telescope and the prisms and all of the different types of lenses yet. We'll be doing that later on. So that is our light energy.